In this lesson, we are going to start creating our own reports. There are several ways to create a user-defined report. The first one is by right-clicking on the folder where we want to create the report and selecting New Report. Another way to create a report is by copying an existing one, which can even be a predefined report and then pasting it in the desired folder. For example, I will open the Data Dictionary Reports folder and then About Your Database and I'm going to right-click on this Version Banner Report and here I will select Copy. Then I'm going to go to my User Defined Reports folder and I'm going to paste it here. Now this is a user defined report which I can now modify if I want to. This is sometimes necessary because the predefined reports cannot be modified. Another way to create a report is by right clicking on the results of a query and then selecting Save Grid as Report. This will open the report creation dialog so that we can add all the necessary details to the report that will be created based on the query we previously ran. And another way to create a report is to right-click on the folder and select the Open Report option. This will open a file browser I can use to open an XML file containing a previously exported report, which we will cover in another lesson. Here we are going to create our reports manually, and by doing so, you will learn what you need to know to be able to modify reports that you copied from the predefined ones, created from the results of a query or imported. So, let's right-click on the User Defined Reports folder, and select New Report, and let's give it a name. I'm going to call it, My First Report. Since this is our very first report, it is going to be very simple, so we are going to use, Table, as the style, which is the type of report that is displayed in a grid, just like the results of a query. We can add some description, which is optional but recommended. And we can add a tooltip, which will be displayed when we hover the mouse over the report, in the Reports pane. And here we have to write the query that will retrieve the data for the report. Most of the time you will develop your query in the worksheet first and then will paste it here, but for this example, I will type here a very simple query from my EMP table. And these are the basic details I need. I can now click on, Apply. And here is my new report. If I click on it, it will ask me for the connection I want to use, as usual, and it will run and give me my beautiful results. And with this grid, I can filter, sort, and many other things, just like we saw in the results grid lesson. Whose employees I want to include. So that it asks me for the department ID whose employees I want to include. What should I do? Come on, what should I do? Exactly, I just have to add a condition to my query, which uses a bind variable to ask for the department. Let's do it. It works. But if I leave the value as null, it doesn't return anything. What should I do to make it include all departments? When I pass null, I just need to modify the condition of my query. So this condition can become where the bind variable department as null or the depno column is equal to the bind variable. So, if I pass 10, it returns only the employees of that department. But if I pass null, it includes all employees from all departments. Pretty easy, right? And these results can be exported in different formats by right-clicking on them, just like the results of a query, but we will talk about exporting data in a future lesson, so I will not get into that by now.